Was it the highs and lows of, I guess, performance and the success that led you to then go into the world of psychedelics and, and DMT? Like, what was what was that catalyst? I think so. Yeah. I mean, just everything else as well. Just like, you're just chasing that, like, high, aren't you? And it's a, it's a hard one to match. That's why I end up buying Lamborghinis and shit like that. It's yeah. <laughs> stupid. Because you're just trying to chase that, like, buzz that you can't get anywhere else. Um. Yeah, so, I mean, psych- psychedelics not... To, it's, I, I try not to bunch psychedelics with everything else. Right, okay. <clears throat> so don't, psychedelics are work, I think. They're Psych- what, sorry? The work, the more work. Like, it, it, if you're going to take MDMA or cocaine or something, you can have a party, but, like, no one's... I've never, I've never once had, I've had a lovely time on mushrooms and stuff. Yeah. But I've never once gone, I'm going to do that again tomorrow and the next day. Right. Because it's just, it, it, it's very cleansing, but it's like, it can be a lot of effort doing psychedelics. So what, what, what led you to, uh, wanting to try it then? You know, like. What, what, in, in the first. In the first place. Yeah. Just yeah. mates said, I've got this, do you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> That's me thinking of like some no. heroic backstory. I'll be honest with you. I thought like. And at the whole end of my show last year was about the first time I did DMT. Right. So, and I was terrified of doing anything like that, but he was like, it only lasts 10 minutes. And I was like, all right. And in my head, I was like, for what I expected it to be was nothing like what it is. Cause I was like, it is just going to go. It, it just, I just see some weird shit and then it'll, it'll just be, it, I'll laugh and it'll be, or it'll, something will be a bit scary, but it'll be over. Um, but it wasn't that it just like, I felt like it just connected me to this, mad spiritual like was that like the um when we were talking about ayahuasca last week it's the that, same thing yeah. same thing yeah yeah it's Sweet. the it's kind of, it's the it's the components of ayahuasca which as this but ayahuasca is mixed with something else so your body because if you at the mc it would just break down it wouldn't do anything to you yeah. so you have to smoke it but um ayahuasca is mixed with a couple of other leaves so you can drink it your page and then it lasts a lot longer because it's gone through that and it's gone through your stomach and so it lasts about six hours. Well, you throw up. You throw up. So yeah, you'll purge and stuff sometimes. What yeah. does purge mean? Does purge mean throw right, up? Right, okay. Yeah. But it, it's Fuck, like, I'm not doing I take it back. I'm not doing that shit. About two weeks ago, we were, I talked about that we'd been chatting about it in Prague. And uh, he'd fully I, convinced me when I was signed up. He I was, was like, like oh, yeah, get me on the plane. He was like, let's go, let's go to Peru and try it. And I went, oh, Paul, come. I'm like, I'll well, definitely come. I'm like, we'll film it. We'll do, we'll do like a little documentary series. <laughs> because like, when you, when I you, didn't realize you th- why, why, why do you, yeah, it yeah, just I mean, not just, everybody, but like some, because it's just like, it's, 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 a shock to your body, isn't it? So it your body thinks kind of... it's, your body thinks it's poison. Oh, so it's trying to like reject yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Because right. when we were in Prague, you and Pavel were talking about it, and you were talking about your experiences on DMT, I guess, or ayahuasca. I don't know which one you'd said. We were you'd... talking about uh, mushrooms, or just mushrooms, because yeah, yeah. you both said that it was almost like a life changing experience. Yeah, yeah. It, that DMT definitely was the most life changing experience I've ever had. Because that was your deterrent. You were like, I don't want it to yeah, change we, my we, life. We talked about this. And I th- yeah, I don't, well, not necessarily I don't want it to change. It won't, like, it's not like you're going to wake up and everything's going to be like, oh, everything's different. But like, it's just, it, it just made me feel like there was more after. Like, I've, I've, I've always been an atheist. And I, I, I mean, I was staunch. I was like, this, it's ridiculous to imagine there's anything after this. And then I felt it and I was like, that can't have been my mind. And now there's still a rational part of me that goes, it could a construct of your mind but if it is then I my mean, mind is a lot more powerful than i imagined it was a lot of people say that don't they like uh, when you listen to that guy on uh <coughs> is it graham hancock on yeah. um joe rogan he says it like he, you know he's a scientist or whatever but he, a lot of people th- explain it in in the framework of like a spiritual experience don't yeah. they but i think it's, even to me like I'm, I'm not like a recreational drug user like i'm, I'm not uh, judgy or anything like but i don't do anything right um so I don't even like smoke regular cigarettes. I, I would hate regular yeah. cigarettes. But like, I think what it is, is I don't even like the idea of taking, you know, if, if I got like well depressed or something, I wouldn't want to take antidepressants because yeah. I don't like the yeah. idea for, of, for whatever reason of something altering my consciousness, even to a small degree. So I think I, when you said, let's do it, I was like, okay, if, if, if you bring along a camera and we film it, then yeah, it'd be a laugh. We'll do it for the I clicks. I don't but. think you should do that. No. I'm just going to put that out there. All oh, right, okay. It'll add an element to it that we will be conscious of. And you just got to do it. I'll, I'll like ruin it, kind of thing. Because you should really respect it because it's not, it's it's for you. And it's it's for you. It's like, a, it's an internal thing. You should, if you're going to do it, it will be, I've never known anyone to do it and not benefit from it. Ah, that's yeah, a, bro- that's a- if you put a camera on yourself, you're going to, because you know yourself, like there's cameras on you now. We're talking differently now to we did out there. Yeah, that's true. Because there's a camera on you, do you know what I mean? There's that yeah, element yeah. of like perspective there. Yeah, well, uh, keep, bear that in mind. Maybe we have to do it like... Uh, we're going to go solo. Yeah. 
to the if jungle. You're gonna do, if you want to film something, have two grams of mushrooms and just go, go and look at them. I fucking hate mushrooms. <laughs> I, I don't like mushrooms. Like they're even Judy, a regular kind. <laughs> Judy Phantom's Thursday, a Thursday upload where he has a bag of shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you can get capsules though, or chocolate and stuff. Imagine this <laughs> the munchies. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, It'd no, be like I mean, a PED for that me. Would I'd, be, I'd, that I'd do would a few, be absolutely mental. I'd do a few before my next contest, yeah. <laughs> So the, so the actual sort of trip itself then that you went on uh, the first time, is that, that that is what's led on to your tattoos? Like you said, you've got... Yeah, yeah. So like, could you, do you want to explain a bit about that or is that not something you'd, you'd <coughs> no, discuss? I, I, that's, that's the end of my show last year. I was to take myself on top off on stage and explain the tattoo. Really? Yeah, I fucking really... Like, I should have seen you last year. I'm just yeah, amazing. That, the that was what I saw the first time. So I got, like, I got carried through a rainbow by a giant serpent and it was just telling me I was doing everything okay. I said, just keep it, making people laugh. Spread positive. The serpent was. Did yeah, it? But when you say speak but to, is it like it, a? No, it's it's kind of you know what it means. But it's not like so. It's I, not, I was going to ask you like what what kind of accent did the snake have? Yeah, was like, yeah. You're I, right, mate. You're, I, you're doing well. Yeah, keep telling yeah, jokes. Well, I give him like a hippie accent in the show. Like, oh, yeah, you're doing really good, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just it, it, it just tells you, and it's like telepathy. You kind of know it. Yeah. Like, I, I've got mother Earth that needs to, it needs finishing. So were you, were you sat in like a... She we, put me in a womb. I was sat in Mother Earth's womb and she was cradling me in these blue, in between these blue pyramids. And I was like trying to ask her some kind of profound... It was funny because I was trying to... I think of a... Because re- I was aware I was with Mother Earth. Yeah. So I was like, ask her something <laughs> profound. <laughs> Forgot, don't waste this opportunity. So I was like, uh, uh, am, I, am I doing everything okay? Am I, am I doing everything okay? And she just went, why, why do you care? And I was like... And I laughed and she laughed and I was like, yeah, but am I though? And she went, bye. And just gave it <laughs> 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 And I was just getting, I shot at it. I was like, <gasps> oh my God, that was weird. That was mad. We I never like, had to come back. When you did it, were you like at home or were you like some kind of That was with the shaman. Oh, that was with an actual, where, yeah. where was it? Where, what, what? It was in Liverpool. Was a guy, I was in Liverpool. His name's Sha- oh, I can't tell his name. I keep getting him in love of the trouble. Steve the Shaman or whatever from, it, it, from it, Liverpool. It's actually Kev. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how long does it last? Like the, the ex- 10 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. Does it feel like time dilates a bit though? No. It? So it feels like it's 10 minutes. It's a, it's a, it's the way I try and describe it is it's a, kind of split, it's a split consciousness. So you really, there's a lot going on and it's kind of like, here so if you close your eyes you can you can focus on it but it's almost like almost out always half out of view you can't really catch it um but you're always still aware that you're here and you can breathe and i'd be like the way every time i've done it like if we were doing it now you'd go and we'd just sit here quietly and just make sure you were okay and then you'd go and then i'd go that's 10 minutes each when you say go does, does anything <laughs> happen like what you'll, you'll just go I do that every time Josh talks to me yeah. first. <laughs> it's good practice. <laughs> right, and then you just like, what, then they just come back around a bit sweaty and they're like, oh, I'm cool. Yeah, not even that. Like, um, I mean, you can take the piss with it and push it too far. Rudy was, it, <laughs> Rudy did it with me and, because uh, I had a vape pen. I shouldn't really say this, it's highly illegal. This is all jokes. Cuts <laughs> Josh. Uh, <laughs> I, I had a vape pen for it. So it's a bit weaker than the crystal stuff that you can get. So I was like, and, couple you know like once they tried they were like you do it first and i was like okay so i thought i wonder if you can like properly blast off with this so i hit it like hard like nine times and i went and these entities came to me and they were like dancing i was on this carousel it was just a party and i was having having a fantastic time and i started feeling myself come out of it and i was like i'm not ready to come out of this yet so i grabbed it again and hit it again another six times and these entities just went got right in my face and we're like don't take the piss out of this. This is not for this. This is not what it's for. You know, this is not what it's for. And apparently, they should look. I was in my chair in the kitchen, going, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." <laughs> <laughs> sorry. in a ball, but it didn't. It wasn't terrifying. It was like kind of like being a toddler and getting told off by yeah. your mum. Do you know what I mean? You know, it's not going to hurt you, but like, it's still a presence. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, That's yeah, what they yeah, said yeah, to you. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. That's heavy, man. It's it's it's. It, I think it's. I mean, I don't want to ever. It, 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 Everyone's going to do their own thing and everyone's on their own path. But I think I've never known anyone to go, I shouldn't have done that. Never. In life. <laughs> and I was terrified of it. And yeah, I'm, I'm now a massive proponent. We just go see Kevin Liverpool, mate. Yeah. Give it a whirl. I can put you in touch with Kevin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he does Cambo as well. Cambo's mad. What's that? Cambo is like, yeah, I've got the little 
Mark, I mean, they burn, they're fading now. They put little, they burn your skin and put tree frog poison on your arm. And then, then you purge. That's like a body cleanse. It's not high, it's not um, psychedelic at all. But it's like you purge and uh, you shit yourself a little bit. <laughs> right, so you that's feel, cool, man. Welcome you're gonna, my you're world. You're going to die for half an hour, but then you feel great for like months. What? I'm probably not going to do that. I'll Kev be honest Bird, with you. Kev burns your so skin. You put, like, yeah, so you put like contact points on. So he did like seven on me. He does a little test one. You're like, you feel like, you feel a bit ropey. And then he put like seven on and put it on. And I was like, I just felt like I was going to die for half an hour. And it's just like clears. It just dra- draws every toxin out of your body. I think I'd rather just not feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> I, f- I feel like I'm going to die a few times after eating stuff. Don't get me wrong, but like... But do you know what? Like, I've got to say to you, because I've never... I, I, obviously, I'm a massive fan of your videos, and especially when I'm dieting. Like, they're like food porn. I sit there. Like, it, it, I, I'd probably get a little bit more sexual about them than I should do. <laughs> Mate, I get these... Like, they going, oh, you little slaggy thick on. <laughs> I get pictures from people watching in, like, bed. You know when yeah, people, there, there are like weird bumps in the bed. I'm like, is that that kind of bump? Or is it just like a fold in the... Like, oh, in get, the... It, get it in your beard, go on. Get it in your beard. <laughs>